Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's time for the work week top and bottom of the deck reading. And I know, I'm sorry, I usually try to have these posted Sunday night or Monday morning. Um, yesterday I spent all day um, cooking my own Mother's Day dinner. It's whatever. And cleaning my house. So... By the time I got to bed last night, it was extremely late, and I overslept this morning. So, we're here now, and we're going to get it done. Again, I apologize that it's late, but let's just roll with it. All right, for those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. Earth, air, water, fire. And since it's Taurus season and Taurus is an Earth sign, we will start with Earth and go around the wheel. If you do not know where your sun sign falls in the elements, um, you can look it up on the internet. Or I will call the signs out as I read the different elements. Whatever works for you. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's general. You might want to stick through till the end and get your Moon Rising and Venus sign reading. Do whatever you want. It's your free will. I'm not going to twist anybody's arm. All right. Two more shuffles for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we will get the Earth signs on the table and get this party started. Okay. Earth signs, you have the Queen of Swords and the Prince of Wands reversed. Ooh, she's icy. Wow. You may be feeling a little bit hold towards someone. Could be an air sign, could be a fire sign. And there's no communication or forward movement going on. Wow. Okay. What happened to lead us up to this? The King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Making logical, non-emotional decisions and concentrating on you and what's important to you. Earning money. Paying bills, taking care of business, doing your thing. Okay. All right, what's, what's going on here and now? Okay. Nine of Pentacles in the upright, Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. Independent energy. Again, concentrating on you, self worth. Princess of Pentacles. We're going to get a clarifier on this. I'm hearing no apologies. Things grinding to a halt. Okay. What's coming in for this week? The world and the death reversed. Cycle change. Things coming to an end, new things beginning. We're going to get a clarifier on this death card. But first, why is the Princess of Pentacles reversed here? Hi. Where'd you go? Ace of Wands. In the reverse. Things grinding to a halt. Things not getting started. Fire's not lighting. Match ain't striking. More fire energy. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I, I'm... No. <laughs> not happening. Not happening. No. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm sensing. Why is the death in the reverse here? Why is death in the reverse here? Three of cups reversed. Oh!
Could be a disconnect between your friends. Could be a little bit of a love triangle and someone not wanting to change their ways. And that's why something is coming to an end. Things are grinding to a halt. Because you're declaring non-emotional decisions. Decisions based on logic. Being a little cold, a little icy. Concentrating on you coming into your own earth signs. Well, what's this going to do about this? Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Seven of Wands in the upright. Someone's fighting it. Internal battle, struggle, taking control. No new start. Maintain control. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't get anything started with this. No new start. You, you have to maintain control. You have to stay set in your ways. Three of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. If they're not going to be on your team, don't throw any energy into this. Don't put any work into this. It's foundation shaky. It's another upside down three. Don't. It's not coming together. Don't pour your energy into it. Keep concentrating on you and doing you and taking care of you. Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands, both in the upright. Keep trucking on to your victory. With a quickness. Keep moving forward. Right on, Earth Signs. I like it. I like it a lot. Not sure who that resonates with, but if it resonated with you, cool. I'm battling a migraine, by the way. Just, <laughs> if I'm not as high energy as I normally am tonight, I'm, I apologize. I'm, I've been fighting this headache all day long. All right, Earth Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's in store for you this week? Apparently the cards want to talk. We had a little bit of an explosion and I don't edit my videos so we're just going to try that shuffle again and keep it going. Make sure nothing else went flying. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the upright. Um, it may be looking bleak right now, but that little page of Pentacles, that, that dude's bringing in hope. I like that. That's a small, stable offer. Because things aren't so stable right now. Okay. <clears throat> what led us here? <laughs> Pardon me. Frog in my throat this evening. The Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Cut off in communication. 
Someone's not talking, and somebody needs to get something off their chest. Somebody needs to release a burden. But communication has been cut off. Blocked altogether, possibly. Nine of Swords in the upright, Eight of Swords in the reverse. You might be keeping things to yourself right now, air signs, but this is keeping you up at night. I, I don't think you're expressing it with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and you're trying to maintain that it's not bothering you, but it's bothering you. It's bothering you. No question. All right, what's coming in for this week? Six of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in the upright. Oh, wow. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here? Apology. Oh, my. And it all comes together. Why is the Six of Cups reversed here? Hi. Ace of Wands. New start, possibly with a fire sign. Someone you have salty memories with. Seven of Pentacles, divine timing. This was... Somebody very patiently waited for the right moment to come back. Possibly coming back with an apology. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Thanks. The Magician, you manifested this. You've had somebody on your mind. For whoever this is for. Probably somebody you haven't talked to in a minute. Possibly somebody who blocked communication altogether. Or you blocked it, take it out, it resonates. Somebody need to get something off their chest. It's been bothering you. This week, it may come back around. Someone waited very patiently to reignite that fire to come in with an apology. Can I get one more on these bottom two, please? Thanks. Lovers reverse. Somebody has not been acknowledging a connection. One more. One more for the air signs, please. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I said one. I'm going to flip the rest of those back over. The three of pentacles flipped out by itself. Coming back together. Teamwork. Coming to an understanding. Laying a foundation. Wow. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's going to come back trying, wanting to put work into this. Okay. By the looks of things, you've been a little cold and icy toward this person, or you may still have those cold, icy, salty feelings. But, and this is, this is really cool when the universe does this. When you think about somebody hard enough and long enough, they come sneaking back. It happens a lot. You'll bump into them just completely randomly, out of nowhere. It's because the universe is always listening. What you to do? Two of Wands in the upright, the Page of Cups in the reverse. 
Oh, you're at the crossroads. Yes, you are. The decision is yours as to whether you want to take or reject the cup. But eventually you need to make the decision if you're going to move forward and take on the world or if you're going to go back. But don't separate yourself emotional from it emotionally. The Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords. The Nine of Cups is in the upright. The Page of Swords is in the reverse. Do something for yourself. Fill your cup. And uh, if... Give me a second. If not communicating and separating yourself from it has brought you to a place of emotional well-being, it might be best to just keep conversations and communication non-existent or to a bare minimum if you want to move forward. One more. Three of Wands and a Death Card. If this situation has not evolved to a place where you're comfortable with you or the other person, or the situation in and of itself hasn't evolved, you can either wait it out longer or you can walk away. I'm catching a sense that one of you is still a little bit farther ahead of game than the other one. I, I don't, I try not to point fingers. Because all things can be vice versa. This is the tarot. But if you guys aren't on the same spiritual level, don't don't pursue this. Wait it out a little bit longer. Okay, air signs. That was all kinds of mixed up. Wow. I mean, by all means, if you want to hear what they have to say, I mean, go for it. But all up to you. I'm a Sag, so, you know, I'd, I'd let them speak their piece and then give them a piece of my own, but that's just me. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's in it for you guys this week? The Emperor and the Queen of Swords. Oh, somebody sassy. Well, dang. Somebody's taking control back and speaking truth. Well, this just got good. All right, what led us to this? The Four of Pentacles and, and the upright and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Someone was holding back communication. Someone was holding back feelings. Not talking. Hmm, okay. Okay. 
I have to get some clarifiers on this. Strength in the, sorry, the star in the upright. It might be an Aquarius you're dealing with. I also have Aries on the board. A little bit of earth, a little bit of air, a little bit of fire. Healing took place. I'm hearing confrontation stop. When the fighting stops, the healing starts. I think with the holding back and the lack of communication... The healing started. Sometimes that's what it takes. Just cutting somebody off the knees. Okay. What are we doing this week? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse. Well... Impatience and emotional closing off. Feeling nothing. Somehow I doubt that. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Six of Wands reversed. No. No, I think you're taking control back and speaking truth. You're you're done. You're you're about to take the wind out of somebody's sails. I think you may speak a little bit of truth to somebody saying, you know, I I I, I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Why is the seven of pentacles reversed here? Hi. Death reversed. I waited long enough for you to change. You did not change. I need to be done. I'm taking control back. I'm speaking my truth. I am being an ice queen. Don't forget the sex of the card. It's not important. It's the energy behind it. You're trying desperately to heal. And not fight with this person. Can I get a clarifier on the Five of Wands reverse, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Five of Wands reversed. Double reversed. Disconnecting yourself, separating yourself from it. I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to fight with you. I need to separate myself from this. I need to heal. Water signs. Wow. Okay. What's this going to do? The world reversed in the Two of Wands. If someone attempts to make a comeback, which they very, very well could, it's up to you to decide what you're going to do. Well, duh, it's up to them. Don't stay at the crossroads too long. If you need to put the cycle to an end, put it to an end. If you're not ready to put it to an end, don't put it to an end. But it's your journey, not mine. Ace of Wands, the Two of Pentacles reversed. It may be best to go on new ventures and do new things and ignite new passions with new people and end the emotional juggling. I'm sensing a lot of emotional juggling here. Somebody held back how they felt. They could have held back secrets. They were holding back. One more. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. You need to work on you. You're, you're in a process of trying to heal. 
and trying to fix you. And that's beautiful. You, you run that. Run that all the way to the bank. Don't let somebody grind that progress to a halt. <clears throat> Water signs do what you need to do. Okay? And if you have to emotionally separate yourself from it, if you have to be cold and honest and say, you know what, en enough's enough. I waited long enough. I'm done. That, that, that's what you gotta say. If you gotta cut somebody off at the knees, you gotta cut them off at the knees. I mean, it's just what I'm hearing here. Take you back. That's awesome. Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo. Uh, if I can make words work right now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's coming in for you guys this week? Got the steampunk deck back. I found that two of cups that I'd lost. Yeah. Kind of funny, I can watch my text messages scroll in on the Chromebook. People be blowing me up right now. I'm just reading cards. So you know what? I'm doing my thing. Leave me alone. I'll get to you when I get to you. <sighs> kind of heartless like that, I guess. Fire signs, top of the deck. Page of swords in the reverse, bottom of the deck. Hovers reversed. There is a connection that is not being acknowledged and no one is talking. Oh, wow. Communication done, been cut off. The connection's still there. Oh, somebody's feeling it. And then somebody's feeling it and somebody's fighting it. And y'all ain't talking. Okay, well, what led us to here? Two of Wands in the reverse and a Six of Pentacles for the past. Somebody ended up at the crossroads not knowing which way to go. We're going to throw a clarifier on that. Things were balanced. Things were even. We're going to get clarifiers on that because that's not making sense. All right. A little bit closer to the here and now. The Fool and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Someone on new ventures, new paths, new things, new people. Finding their independence. Being good in themselves. Okay. It's coming in this week. The chariot and the ten of cups reversed. Ooh. <clears throat> Forward movement, deciding to emotionally distance yourself from something that Sad ending or an incomplete cycle? Okay, I gotta get some clarifiers on this. Why is the Two of Wands reversed here? Empress reversed. Somebody was at the crossroads because it wasn't gonna grow. There was, there was no hope for growth. I don't want to say someone lost the feels. Maybe the feels just weren't as strong as they once were. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Oh, wow. Okay. I'll take two. That's fine. Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. I'm hearing feelings were mutual. Feelings were mutual, but somebody had to get their heart broke for them to move on and be better. I, 
almost hearing or feeling somebody got ditched and it was like they did you a favor or you did them a favor. Wow, that is deep fire signs. That's self-sacrifice. I'm proud of you. Wow. Okay. Just for kicks, why is the fool here? Knight of Wands. New ventures, new things, new people, new places, somewhat non-committal energy. They are not hanging out long. They're in, they're out, they're up, they're down. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords reversed. I don't need what you had anyway because I got plenty of my own and I'm good and, and I have the crappy attitude to go with it. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know who's who or what's what, but this is interesting. Wow. So as for this week, the chariot, the chariot can represent travel. I don't think anybody's doing a whole heck of a lot of that right now, but neither here nor there. It can also represent distance, physical, emotional, what have you. And I get a clarifier on the chariot for my fire signs, please. Thanks. I'll take two. The sun and the king of pentacles. You're moving toward happiness, fire signs. The sun is shining. You're moving toward a beautiful connection. And a very strong offer. Something that is stable. Something that is wonderful. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? The Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups reversed. Well, Three of Cups reversed could be like a love triangle thing. Doesn't have to be. You're better off without them. You're going to find that happiness again that you had with them. Or that you thought you had. Maybe it was a, it was a false happiness. The fe Okay, back up here for a second. The feelings were mutual. Somebody had to get their heart broken to make you better. Or you had to break someone's heart to make them better. This week that all comes back around. You may finally figure out, yeah, I am better off. I am happier now that I've disconnected from this. It doesn't have to be the sad ending. Did, did you get the fairy tale? No. But you're still happy. And let's get your advice because you're one cup away. And nine cups are pretty awesome. As long as you're filling them with the right things. The Knight of Swords reversed and the Eight of Swords reversed. <sighs> Stay out of that cage of your own thoughts. Do not reach out to this person. Let them reach out to you if they choose to. This is the blocked communication card. 
If they blocked you, don't push it. If you blocked them, don't unblock them. If it's meant to come back around, it'll come back around. If the communication is meant to come, it will. Don't force it. Don't force it. Leave it be. Leave it as it is. Because right now everybody's happy. Five of Wands reversed and the Justice reversed. Avoid confrontation and an imbalance in the scales. If right now the energies are pretty even and everything's okay, let it be okay. If it's definitely not okay, don't try to even those scales. Avoid confrontation. Don't don't engage. Fire signs. Do not engage. Don't do it. I know it's hard, especially if you want to. Don't engage. Please don't. One more. Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is in the reverse. If the door is meant to open, it will. Don't try to force the door open. If the door is closed, leave it closed. If you have something you need to get off your chest or a burden you need to release, now is probably not the time to do it. Nor is it time to try to rebuild a tower. Once the dust settles, if it's still falling, just some time has gone by and you've had a chance to heal. Cool. Not right now. The connection is still there, even if you're not talking, and it's always going to be there. You guys are probably soulmates. Fair enough. Don't, don't engage. If you're good, you're good. By the looks of things up here, somebody made a very self-sacrificing choice to better you. And that's a soulmate. That's beautiful. All right. That's it for my fire signs, guys. I need to, like, take a nap or something because I was very low energy today. Um, I'm starting second half of maze tomorrow. And I'll probably end up doing a Marseille special reading again. I think I'm going to start doing that either Tuesday or Thursday once a week, depending on the craziness of my schedule. But thanks for hanging out. You guys are wonderful. I appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day. And I will catch you for your second half of maze in the coming week. Love you to bits. Good night. <laughs>